Hey and welcome. Today I will talk about how to build knowledge graphs using Protege and Web Protege. It is a useful tool because it's open source. There's a one version that is desktop version and another is web version. In this course we will use a web version, but also I will try to describe part of the application, the desktop application of Protege. Let's get started. So you can download the application, the desktop application of Protege in this link. I put it on the you can see it, but it's Protege stands for that edu. The desktop application contains several tabs and different features. I suggest to for a starting point just to try to understand how the a graph can be built. As an example of ontology, we can use the people ontology. You can see details of this ontology here in active ontology tab. A taxonomy can be seen as a tree. So starting from the trunk and different leaves and branches are coming as a different, more detailed information of the tree. In this case, for instance, the type of categories of the information can be seen as here in the tab, in the class hierarchy. So there are different type of information that you can see in this tab. As an example, there is a, the vehicles that the person use. So you can tab in those in one of those branches and you can see how is this part of the tree. So we can update the, ta the taxonomy of the graph, the knowledge graph, adding more nodes and relationships. For instance, we can use the class hierarchy space and we can create a new subclass. That it, it will create a new branch of this tree. For instance, if we add part of the knowledge that is not in this ontology is the housing where the person lives. We can, we can create that. So we can create a, a small taxonomy of the housing. For instance, a house a housing can be a different type of, of houses. So we can create a subclass that calls apartments. And a sibling of those can be a normal house. So as you can see there can be you can create different taxonomies of this, a small taxonomies, subclasses of these branches. The same can be seen in Web Protege. We can create we can start creating a new project. Is that we can create also the people taxonomy. We can add some description or we can also load the that taxonomy from the desktop application from Protege here. But we can create a new project. So then we can start in adding nodes. For instance, the housing that we create. And from the housing, we can create apartments and a sibling of apartments with us houses. I will show you how to upload and how it looks uh, the full ontology when you load this in Web Protege. So we can create a new project also called People Ontology. And we can load the, that ontology that we develop and we modify it in the text of application of Protege here. So we upload and we can enter and see how it looks. So as you can see, it's, uh, Web Protege has the same similar uh, similar look like of the Protege desktop application. It has different functionalities and more limitations, but it's still we can work on that. We can also share ontologies and projects in Web Protege. So we can go and to the click in the share button so we can looking for people that we can share. For instance, I have two accounts here, that one, 
and I grant some permit some permits so for instance that I can edit another account my, another account I can edit so we can apply but yes that will be how we're gonna use color protege for collaboration and building a graph